All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another First Reviews reaction video with your big buddy boy, Gore. And I'm here to take a look at the first reviews for Bullet Train, which, of course, comes out this Thursday, technically. Uh, I'm seeing it on Thursday. I got my Tia kits. So I'm excited. Looks really fun. Brad Pitt shooting people with guns and knives. Uh, well, actually, I didn't see him make guns. I think it's going to be more, more knives. And also, you don't really shoot people with knives, but whatever. Anyway, let's... Uh, let's get let's get to it uh i'm excited for it It looks really really good so um i had its premiere yesterday and i saw that there's been a couple people posting reviews so i'm assuming there's a bunch of reviews out now so let's get to it i'm gonna guess this is really just a guess from what i've seen in the trailers the trailers have been fun i'm getting a little sick of seeing the trailer though almost every movie had the trailer in front of it that i've seen in the last like few months Hmm. I'm going to say 82%. That's my guess. All right, let's get to it. That's, I think it's going to be positive. So let's get to it. Oh, play. I don't know why I said play. All right, there it is. All right, 82%. And oh, okay. All right. Oh, that's right. That comes out this week. Uh Oh, 72% is not bad. All right, all right, all right. What, what, uh, oh, <laughs> it's getting lower every time I click it. Um. All right. 6.6, all right, that's too, not too far off from the actual Rotten Tomato score. All right, 68% is not terrible either. Um, Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, just turn this off. Uh, an algorithmic Guy Ritchie wannabe crime who done it packed with movie stars and the popular gun foo hell yeah. Combat style, the former stuntman helped pioneer, but short on actual plot, locomotion, and charm. Brad Pitt's in it, and there's no charm. Feels plucked from the things to do in Denver when you're dead, period. When Tarantino's first features emboldened to too many filmmakers to think that they could, too could make zippy comedy with explicit gore, pop references, and a briefcase full of cash. I'm getting a little sick of the pop references, but I, I don't mind everything else. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of people trying to rebuff Tarantino in the late 90s, early 2000s, so I understand. Uh... This lumbering locomotive proves to be neither hilariously immoral nor liberatingly violent. It makes quite a commotion, but mostly just spins its wheels. Okay, you know what? Enough negatives. Jesus Christ. Let's get some positives. Damn, look how many positives there are, though. Damn, boy, damn. All right. Uh, this chaotic bubblegum mishmash of Japanese-American bullet time is a riot, over-the-top, violent as hell, and so much damn fun. Hell yeah. Bullet Train will be a rewarding ride for some, but I'm not sure they should have left. let it leave the station. Oh, fuck off. What the fuck? I'm sick of it. Just fuck up with the punch. Shut the fuck up. A necessary gore filled. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. A necessary gore filled blast that you didn't. I'm in it? That. Eh. Puns. That you didn't know you needed a counterpunch to DC and Marvel's bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry. Monolithic waterfall. Sorry. I think what I said was there. And a con in confirmation that a spectacle is best enjoyed at the theater without having to pay teeth. Uh, whatever. Uh, teth? Whatever. Fuck. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an English man. I'm a dummy. Anyway, Bullet Train offers fun and thrills from start to finish in an action film that brings an international cast along for the ride. Okay. The action is first class and Brad Pitt and Aaron Taylor Johnson are having a blast. But with all that hyperactive style and cartoonish violence, you'll be ready to disembark by its final destination. Okay. Yeah, because I heard the movie's like a little over two hours long. And when I heard that, I was like... I mean, I haven't seen it, but I feel like this this is the type of movie that should be like an hour and 40 minutes, you know? Maybe maybe a, a couple minutes longer, you know, maybe 145. But uh, I think it's like two hours and like 10 minutes or something. It's just a little much. Uh, Billet, Billet Train. Bullet Train's biggest weapon of the secretly funny, secretly funny variety, rests in the chiseled form of star Brad Pitt, who once again proves that he is as charming a buff and tough movie god as he is a wry, self-deprecating comedy star. Yeah, he's really good in comedy. Uh, watch Burn After Reading. Probably one of my favorite roles for him. A fun time at the theater, a frantic and even occasionally affecting action flick, you son of a bitch. I always forget. I always forget. That was my AC. Whose best moments more than just more than justify its banal sequences? Okay, uh, Bullet Train doesn't have a destination really or a moral imperative other than mayhem, but it's got a ticket to ride. Okay, buoyed by I never knew how, I know how to pronounce his name is Lech, Leech, Le Lich. 
the guy that did John Wick. Lich is export, 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 expert eye for action as well as one of the most hilariously disposable A-list casts around. Oh, don't spoil that. Why the fuck would you write that? I'm expecting everybody to die. Great. Thank you. Like, imme immediately. You know? Why would you fucking put that in your... Whatever. Unlike so many of the cookie cutter wise... I'm not reading the rest. Thanks, Paul. Uh, wise cracking assassin movies in recent memory. Bullet Train acknowledges its outlandishness from the beginning and yet also manages to connect so many dots in creative gotcha fashion. Okay. So Richard Roper liked it. Really liked it, actually. Uh, jumbled and repetitive. Bullet Train is just a fast-moving train wreck. The movie has plenty of famous co-stars, but ultimately has little substance or imagination as an action comedy. Okay. Pit is game for just diving in and laying loose, as well as getting stabbed, punched, bitten, and thrown around like a ragdoll as a steadying presence when the film pur purposely, purposefully goes off the rails. Okay. Maybe a fun enough ride, but neither the characters nor the film they inhabit are particularly deep. That's fine. You don't need totally deep characters. It's a lot of fun to see Brad Pitt in action hero mode. Okay. It is. I, I want to see Brad Pitt in more stuff like this, but I mean, he's he's getting close to 60, which is crazy. I mean, like, what the fuck? Him and Keanu Reeves should team up, team up. Oh, they're both almost 60. And they're still doing this shit. They're doing it more than they used to when they were in their prime. <laughs> the fuck? Ah, damn. Uh, both trying to be super funny, super violent, and a total hoot. It's a satisfying eye popper. Uh, it's satisfyingly eye popping and heart pounding wild ride. Okay. All right, so it seems like a lot of people are like, yeah, it's really fun, but there's no substance, or it's just really fun, and that's fine. I mean, it has no substance, but that's fine. So that's good with me. The fun here is very much in the ride, not the destination. <laughs> but it's certainly a lot of fun while the ride is going. A pure popcorn, a wildly illogical, nonsensical zip through cultures clashing and knives slashing. All right. Bullet Train builds this lavish playground and populates it with interesting and dangerous characters. Oh, they like the characters. And then lets them all loose to see what happens, resulting in a nonstop thrill ride that tantalizes the senses with plenty of action humor. Man, I'm very excited to see this, actually. Like, really think about it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to go to Metacritic. Look away, look away. Let me get my full screen back. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yay. All right. 54. That's not... Okay. Mm. Oh no! What? Hold on. Fuck everything else. Bear and Breakfast has a 73? The fuck is this? It just had 80. I swear, last time I looked at it, 80. Alright. Bullet Train, 54. Okay. Pause that. Go away forever. Okay. Uh, cameos in third act. Alright, I'm not reading that. I didn't know there was going to be fucking cameos to begin with. Thank you. <sighs> Unlike so many of the cookie cutter and wisecrack, unless they talk about like roles we already know about, like fucking Michael Shannon being in it. I mean, we already saw him in the trailer, so. Uh, and uh, what's her name? The girl from Deadpool 2. Um, Domino. I forgot her act the actress's name. She was in Joker also. Yeah, she's in that trailer for a brief mimit. mimit. A, br a brief mimit. A brief minute. Good lord. I didn't give it a 7 out of 10, unfucking surprisingly The craziness of David uh, Train never goes off the rails nor reaches top speed, but still brings us along for a smooth and stable joyride that outshines its recent American ca action counterparts. Like what? Uh, don't talk bad about the gray man like that. That's, that's messed up. Ultimately, Bullet Train is one of the most entertaining and flashy films of 2022, thanks to lively performances, incredible fight setups, stylish cinematography, and punchy writing. Okay. Ending up in a CG mess that tries to say something about karma. Okay. I'm just going to skip that. Not that I'm spoiling it. I just don't want to read it. Uh, talky Violent. Here, this is probably the worst review I've read so far. Maybe. Um, maybe I read this one. But Brad Pitt at the center of an overcranked ensemble cast reminds us why Hollywood is all but banned attempts to copy successes of. Is this the same one? I read one that. I didn't notice. Eh, whatever. We're done anyway. Fuck it. I want to make these slightly shorter, so we're done. Uh, Bullet Train's pretty good. Nah, some people have some problems. Um, it's more positive on Rotten Tomatoes, that's for sure. No reviews for Prey yet. Doesn't this come out in fucking like two days or three days? Let's see if there's any. No. I, sometimes Rotten Tomatoes just sucks and doesn't show. I've been hearing good, like, early word of mouth for that, so. But uh, that Bodies, Bodies, Bodies movie looks really good. Ugh. Itchy. Itchy. Anyway, we're done. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you till next time. Uh, bullet trains. Well, let's see, actually. Just one last time.
Oh, oh no, it has less reviews now. Okay. Anyway, we're done. Bye!